These are cervical vertebrae. There are seven of them, and then these are three of different kinds. We can tell that they're cervical vertebrae because they are the smallest vertebrae in the column. And you can also tell because only cervical vertebrae have transverse foramen coming off of the transverse processes. There, there, in there. is called the atlas. Um, it is C1, and this is the superior view. So here we can see the transverse foramen, the vertebral foramen, the superior articulating surface, and that will actually articulate with the occipital condyles of the skull. Uh, this one has something called an anterior arch, and we see the transverse process going across. And then we have C2. C2, those will actually sit on top of each other like that. But anyways, here's C2, it's called the axis. You can remember that Atlas is always on top of the axis because of alphabetical order. And part of the atlas, we have the superior articulating surfaces here and here. Uh, we have the dens, or also known as the odontoid process. And we can see the transverse form in here. It's not very big. And then when we see them sitting on top of each other, see something called the atlantoaxial joint. And then there's the dens. They're sitting on top of each other. Atlantoaxial joint. And then this one would make up the rest of this one would make up the rest of the cerebral vertebrae. That's the rest C3 through C7. Atlas and axis with C1 and C2.